Hi, this is uh, Spokes reporting for uh, Grand Prix Cafe, and I'm with uh, with my friend Greg here in New York City. It's a beautiful day. Looking at uh, a Vincent Rapide B. Now, the interesting thing about this machine is it's the first one of the production line. Now, Greg, would you like to tell me a few things about this bike? Well, it's, it was the first prototype. In 1946, they made 16 motorcycles, serial number 3 through number 19. And this bike happens to be serial number 3. The first two were destroyed. And uh, what makes the, uh, the B, uh, the Rapide B, more significant than the Rapide A? Well, the Rapide A was made before World War II. It had, they made only 78. They were just gearing up for production. Um, and the B was the beginning of the man true manufacturing of Vincent between 1946 and 1955. And of course, this machine is also bristling with innovation. Uh, it's one of the first bikes to have a, uh, an engine as a stress member. Cantilever rear suspension. Little things like a, a hinge on the mudguard to get the rear wheel out. And the rear wheel will actually spin round so you can change the ratios on the gearing as well. But why on earth do they keep with the original Gerda forks? I have no idea. I think they were lightweight, and after after they began developing them, and in the ser next series, they they re they manufactured them in in, in in the series C as a as a much more significant fork system. Which of course became the the Black Shadow. Yes. Well, they made Black Shadows with these forks as well as repeat B Black Shadows. Okay. But um, one of the things that's most significant about this is that the engine is a stress member, much like the new Ducati. Um, where it, this technology is in the 1940s. It's 25 years ahead of its time, basically. Yeah. And it, 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 it's being reintroduced again today. Yeah. Um, you know, it's really, the setup is very similar to a monoshock rear suspension, which again was not developed and put into production until the mid 70s by Kawasaki or Yamaha into the road racing bike. So again, this is something that was 30 or 40 years ahead of its time in its suspension. I've got to ask you as well, how did you, how did you get hold of this? Luck. Simple luck. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, I, my, my passion is really Italian motorcycles, and, uh, and when I found this, I could pass up the opportunity to own something so special. I had a, I had a, a little room that the, the reason this, uh, this V-twin design came about was that the, uh, the designer, Phil Vincent, put two blueprints together on the board, and uh, one fell on top of the other one, and uh, I think it's apocryphal, but nonetheless, it makes for a nice little story. It does. It definitely does. And, of course, they also made the Comets, which were single cylinders, which would, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Um, I, you know, I, they were, they, with the repeat A's, I believe they did the same thing, where there was one cylinder and two cylinder with the same core engine. And in your opinion, why do you think Vincent Motorcycles, they're only around for 31 years? What, what, what happened? Um, they, they were truly the Rolls Royce of motorcycles. Uh, this, you know, this motorcycle will cruise, you know, it's, will cruise at, at 90 miles an hour, you know, and, and I've done it. Um, and people around the world say they're comfortable, if it's set up right, cruising at 90 or 100 miles an hour on a bike that's, the technology is so old. You know, and it's also, you know, the world record was set on a Black Shadow in, in 1949. That record held for 20 years at 150 miles an hour for a production motorcycle. And that's also reckoned to be one of the most um, uh, iconoclastic photographs in uh, motorcycling of the guy, Rolly, Rolly, lying, Rolly on, free. Lying, on top of the, lying on top of the bike. Yeah, in a bathing suit. In a bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'm going to have to ask you, man, do you want to start it up for us? Um, yeah, we, it start, just started. Let's see if we can fire it again. OK. Bear with us. This is the price of beauty. All bridge bikes leak a little. In gas. Beautiful. It's going to come around the back. This is what it sounds like when doves cry.
Okay, Greg, thanks ever so much. It's really appreciate that. You're very welcome. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back soon. Thank you.